So the Holger 556 has been one of the most debated weapons here in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer basically since the launch of the game. The pro players immediately banned this thing in competitive because of the long range three bullet potential, meaning if you hit three headshots, it's going to be a three shot kill. On the other hand, it's not a fast paced weapon whatsoever. And due to the slower fire rate, it has no real viability at close range. And that's where the debate comes in. Is this thing really that overpowered? Is the MCW just an all around better weapon? I guess it's still up for debate. In my opinion, I don't think it's as good as the MCW at all. And I don't think it really needed to be banned from competitive, but that's where the debate comes in. You guys go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Starting here with my first attachment, I am using the slate reflector. And as always, this is a preference. If there's a different optic you want to run, you can run that or even the iron sights down here to a rear grip. I have the Morn 20 grip. That's going to give you flinch resistance, recoil control and gun kick control. The primary reason I'm choosing this one is that recoil and gun kick control the flinch resistance is a nice added bonus. It is going to give you 10% across the board there to all of your recoil control along with 47% there towards that flinch resistance. For my underbarrel here, I am using the Bruin heavy support grip. That's going to give you gun kick control, aiming at a sway, horizontal recoil control and fire aiming stability. That's more or less touching on everything that needed to be covered on this weapon in the forms of recoil control. The vertical really isn't too crazy in my opinion, but it does like to bounce around a lot. And this attachment does a very good job of controlling that. For my muzzle, I am going with the tw Scratch 20L Suppressor for an increase to that fire aiming stability while keeping us nice and stealthy on the map. This weapon has a ton of visual shake to it. And between this and the underbarrel, this does a fantastic job of controlling that shake. And my final attachment is the Trio 6 Match Barrel. That's going to give you a large increase to bullet velocity and damage range, making your three shot potential even further. Along with that, we are getting even more recoil control and gun kick control so you can see a 20 percent increase to the damage range 11 percent to the bullet velocity then some smaller values there also towards the recoil control which will only help you in the longer ranges so i guess this is the time you guys should be going down in the comment section and letting me know if you guys think the holker 556 is better than the mcw at the end of the day it does speak volumes that the pros banned the holger 556 and they didn't ban the mcw so i guess when it comes down to it you guys go down in the comment section let me know uh, there's all the attachments as always make sure you guys copy that down if you guys want to use it here's also the rest of the loadout if you guys wanted to copy this one down as well let's jump into a gameplay to feature the three shot holger 556 make sure you guys are aiming high hitting your headshots and you guys will absolutely melt enemies off the map let's get into it so honestly i'm recording right now because i'm a little bored i have nothing to do before season five comes out i don't know if this is going to launch during season five or if i'm gonna drop it like a little before season five because currently there's like three four days i think four days till the new season and i've got all my videos done so i just said screw it there's no point in me playing if i'm not gonna hit the record button so that's basically the long story short i decided to hit the record button and have a little fun more or less go for a nuke try out my new holger 556 setup not much more to really discuss on that front playing on some vista i am excited for the new maps that are going to be coming out there's uh the new maps that are coming out this season are going to be i believe it's a medium sized map and then it's also a small map uh not like super duper small but like small you know what i mean it's not gonna be like shipment ask but i believe it, what it, it, it's like a it's sort of like shipment it's got a bunch of shipping containers in it it's just not called shipment i don't remember what it's called yard i think i think that's actually the first time i've ever been fooled by one of those mannequin things Okay, I may switch over to a trophy system here. I'm going to rotate around here with the team. I want to destroy this counter UAV if I can find it. There it is. I got to pick up my pace here. Okay. Not, I mean, I'm in a rocky spot here. 
in a rocky spot because I'm not using an aggressive weapon. Normally, I would use an SMG on Vista because SMGs are definitely the best option. But it popped up, so I said, screw it. You know what I mean? If I can... If I can lock in my advanced UAV here, probably going to be where I get it. You know what I mean? That guy almost got me again. That's a VTOL. I couldn't get away. Oh, my goodness. I was one kill away but we do have the VTOL so that that's good we'll drop that right on the hill that should buy us a few kills here God, uh, the, the amount of tacticals and lethals being used here. All right, I'm already back in it. We got the VTOL again. There's our advanced. I'm going to hit that right away, I think. Yeah, that was a good move. We're going to go VTOL once again. They're up there. Am I going to get bad timing? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, there's another UAV. We should be able, in theory here, to uh, lock in. That guy's down below? Yeah, he's down below. I should be able to get at least pretty close to this nuke here. I just got to keep the spawns on my side. I don't know how I want to play this. I'm only on a 17. I'm definitely not as good in good of shape as I thought. I mean, that was my opportunity right there. I'm going to hit a long route. I hear one. I knew I heard one. The mission is half complete. Stay sharp. Enemies inside the perimeter. Friendly mosquito deployed. So teammates running a mosquito over a UAV. That's a little tough. Tough because ooh, okay. So they just got a three-piece nade. I got an advance. That's huge. It's huge, huge. Oh, I got it. I mean, definitely not my cleanest DNA bomb I've ever gotten. But again, this isn't like your stereotypical weapon you'd use on a, a map like this. Definitely more of like if you were to use an AR, it'd be like in a, a BP-50 or something, something more aggressive. So as I'm recording this, it's currently COD Champs time and it's Saturday. So as of right now, Optic at the time, it is currently 932. So Optic has officially advanced to the finals. And uh, we're currently waiting on the results of phase V, uh, I'm sorry, not phase, uh, ultra V NYSL. 
And that's going to be an absolute banger of a series, too. So after this gameplay, I'm definitely going to be watching that. I've been watching it all weekend. Going to go DNA here. Just call it in. Why not? Yeah, why not? Now we can go with the VTOL, and we're going to chuck that here. That could have been a money shot. Yeah, it was. Seventy-six. This, I mean, Rocky Start turned into a pretty dang good game here for something that I didn't really have expectations for. I'm just playing for fun. I just, I know better. I know myself too well. I know myself far too well. Do not hit the record button while I'm playing. That's going to be GG's 84 kills. I'm excited to watch this next CDL match. It's going to be a good one.